Hello, we're in 2 Samuel 3. The history of this period takes us into the ways of mankind in civil war between the northern and the southern kingdoms of Israel and the dysfunctional family of the polygamous David, walking in the path of faith. It is Joab, a clever, ambitious, bloody-minded, and heartless man, and Abner, a man more righteous than Joab, but who fights selfishly against King David, whom God has chosen. Abner is cousin to Isbosheth, and Joab is nephew to David. The covenant Abner proposes is in the presence of the chiefs of Benjamin and Judah, whom now are part of this covenant. When Abner's pride had been wounded, when Isbosheth assigned motive to Abner's actions, he throws himself into David's interest, and Joab kills him to avenge his brother's death. The family of Saul, Isbosheth, and Abner were entirely in the wrong with their selfishness, which, with their pretended rights, would not submit to God and to his will. David was the true king of Israel. This was the reason for the civil war. Abner appointed Esbosheth king over the northern tribes instead of recognizing David as king. Now David begins to do as will Christ, the king of Judah, will bring all around into subjection to himself after he has taken the throne. I would like to highlight verse 37. For all the people and all Israel understood that day that it had not been the king's intent to kill Abner, the son of Ner. It still happens today that men will take action and say it is the will of God, as Joab did in killing Abner, making it seem to be the will of David. The children of Israel learned it was not the will of David. We too learn some of the actions of men are not the will of God. God bless you.